Thanks for staying with us right here on uh, Sunrise. As we continue, of course, this morning, we're still coming to you from the city of Mbombela, where together with the Department of Science and Technology, we are launching uh, that lithium-ion battery uh, precursor pilot uh, plant facility. And joining us uh, to find out more, of course, on the work of what uh, the department uh, entails to do uh, with this going forward. And how does it speak to the National Development Plan? It is uh, the Director General in the department, uh, Dr. Joachim, joining us, of course, for the conversation this morning. And from uh, the University of Limpopo, uh, the impact that uh, this project has uh, on an overview uh, for the University of Limpopo as well. We're joined this morning by Professor uh, Matomo Khalong uh, for the conversation. Good morning to you, gentlemen, and thanks for joining us. Thanks, ma'am. Good morning, our listeners. Yeah, now, uh, let's start off with you, uh, DG, in terms of, like, we're standing in a very uh, well functioning, uh, exciting lab that we know that the department uh, made sure that this is possible, uh, injecting close to about 30 million or so to, to this project. Just tell us about the big vision uh, around this project. Well, the big vision is that uh, we all use cell phone batteries, we use iPads, uh, and uh, as you have seen in a number of countries, they are moving into electric vehicles. And therefore, the future is to move into these batteries that are needed for these uh, components, uh, or these um, apparatus that I've talked about, and therefore we have decided in South Africa to start investing in the materials that are uh, needed for the manufacture of these batteries and this potential a huge market. And therefore this facility is a partnership between us and the University of Limpopo that is looking at how you can then uh, mix the different material that are needed uh, for driving these batteries. Mm. From a professor, from an academic point of view, I mean, uh, this initiative, uh, the, the impact that it'll make for the uh, in the research field, and for 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 the university as well, because we know that a lot of universities, uh, you know, are judged on their performance based on some of the research work that they do, uh, and they get certain you know accolades uh, coming of that. The, the the contribution of this work to the University of Limpopo. Well, thanks, and I must say that the, the University of Limpopo, we are really elated to be partnering with the Department of Science and Technology on this venture. Like the DG indicated, you know, greening the economy and greening everything is the future. Mm. Now, with batteries being part of our daily lives these days, cell phones, iPads, computers, and the greening cars, I think we, we, we're really excited that the University of Limpopo has been identified and chosen by the Department of Science and Technology to be a partner in this lithium-ion battery program. Now, DJ, in terms um, of like uh, the National Development Plan, you know, the nine-point plan, and the, the contribution of science and technology and innovation uh, to the greater picture of how we want South Africa to look like, I mean, I know that the minister's got a vision 2030 and things like that around um, how innovation and technology can contribute to, to work, but also to the growth uh, of the country and skills, especially for, for young people. How are we faring on that when we look at an initiative like this? We're fairly not bad. Um, the initiative that we're doing today is part of uh, the department's contribution to diversifying the economy. As you know, our economy is still dependent on natural resources, and uh, one of the things that we do as a Department of Science and Technology is to identify initiatives that will help us to diversify the economy. Mm -hmm. As we've indicated in this particular uh, initiative, uh, we have uh, manganese in South Africa, we have nickel and we've got cobalt. So all of these materials are the precursor material that you, you were referring to in mm. the pilot facility that we are in today that will be uh, the materials that are needed for the batteries. Now, you can look at the numbers of uh, how much you get as a country if you export the raw uh, nickel or manganese or cobalt. If you then put this together into precursor material for the battery, these go an order of magnitude higher instead of, for instance, uh, exporting at $1,000 uh, per ton of uh, manganese. When you've put this material together and they are going to be used in batteries, you can get up to 20, mm. uh, a thousand US dollars. And this is what we would like to contribute. So we'll be contributing on the export. When we have the facility for manufacturing the batteries, we'll be contributing on job creation. 
uh, both in this area, but also the high-end jobs that we need. And therefore, uh, in partnering with the university, we're looking at uh, training masters and PhD students, which are part of this program. And it is those students who will be driving uh, the economy of the future. So that's one of the things in relation to this project that is part of our bigger picture. But as a department, we also, of course, finance other initiatives that are looking at both uh, value addition or beneficiation, it is called, but also on how we can use knowledge to modernize existing industries. And we invest in a number of initiatives that are aiming at uh, doing that because uh, one of the only ways in which to deal with uh, the poverty is also to invest in knowledge and therefore these high-end products that we need for exports. So, uh, so Prof, in, in terms of like that investment, uh, when it uh, comes to, to the university issues around research um, and uh, your academic standing as a player, as a university within that, that space, the interest uh, in, in that field for the University of, of Limpopo, why did you partner to be, to be part of this? Well, the University of Limpopo has got a very strong division of materials modeling where you use computational modeling to sort of pre predict what the outcome of an experiment would be. Mm. And like the DG indicated, South Africa is very rich with mineral resources. And what used to happen in the past is this used to be exported and I mean, as, as, as raw manganese or all that. And after that exportation, we have to import them now at a higher price. Mm. But now the key word here, why we have this plant, it's value add, beneficiation. And when you think of value add, like indicated, it, it, it will affect everybody in the country. The GDP of the country will definitely be better. But from the university side, we're really excited. This is one of our key ventures where through computational modeling, we are able to run the models that can come up with better results. Would you say this would also create interest in terms of like students within the region who want to go into the space to feel that there is a place in the University of Mbopo, uh, looking at previously where the university was uh, within in the this, this space? The, the interest we're receiving is beyond the region, beyond South Africa, and even beyond Africa. Even the collaborations we have we have collaborations with institutions in the UK, institutions in Europe, where they really see interest in this. But for our students and for South African students, I think they are really interested in this. And most of them don't stop until they are at PhD level once they have tasted this. Mm. So obviously, uh, um, DG, this speaks to us being able to lift those numbers of uh, um, you know, PhD students and, and research, uh, you know, data that the country significantly needs, especially to sort of like push innovation and in, in, in technology forward? Yes, it does. Um, as we have indicated, uh, and as Prof has indicated, um, we then are able to attract high levels of uh, masters and PhD students. But of course, we don't end there. We want these students to stay in the projects. Uh, and we want those students to be the ones that are driving the high-tech industries and the export industries that we need. And therefore, by having initiatives of this nature, uh, one of the things that the Prof has said is the partnership that we have with a number of countries. Tomorrow we'll be having an international battery conference as we'll, we'll be hosting here um, in Bombela. Mm. And the huge international partners are wanting to partner with South Africa in order to take this project into the commercial phase. And therefore, when that happens, the job opportunities that we were talking about will happen. Uh, the GDP contribution will go much, much higher. And hopefully, again, we'll be able to even attract more young people into projects and initiatives like this.